Hello everybody, Obi-Wan362 here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Blind. In the last part, well, I got to control time. Yes. Anyway, in this part, I'm starting off by saying I, it was recommended to me that I switch the ribbon, give it to Cloud. That makes sense, I guess. Fine. So, he now has the ribbon. I hope you're all happy. I was also told that people really wanted to see me use Eris's Great Gospel. So, good grief, I will attempt to do that. However, it was also disclosed to me that there are two... There were two spots that I skipped. I didn't go to either 6 or 7. The fact I didn't go to 6 is probably sad, and the fact I didn't go to 7 is ironic. I used that in the... Or is it 7 and 8? I'm pretty sure I went to 6. But... Yeah, I know. But since those ones were... I was told I did not go to, then... Well... Figured it only made sense for me to hit those up first before we move any farther. I'm coming for you, laddie. I have been to this one. I've been to seven. Just, just to make sure that I'm not being tricked by... Yeah. Been to seven. Thought that's the one I was told I hadn't been to. Gonna just proceed. Cause it's easier that way. Do that. Do this. Move it myself. Maybe they said eight. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they said maybe it was six and eight. in here too. Okay. Starting to be a little confused here, guys. Back in time. Go, go, go before that second hand comes and knocks me off again. Okay, this one I've clearly not been to before. Hey, it's locked. No good. We have to catch it. You must be tired. Yeah, well... Just hang in there. Someday we'll look back at this hard, at these hard times and laugh. The guard that escaped the key to the door moves on a set course. Memorize the doors he enters and exits to figure out the pattern and catch him at an exit. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You can jump down to the ramp below and to the left of the screen. Okay, so he moves in a... Okay, he goes to the end. I want this. I want, I want whatever's in here. Work a glove. Okay. Well, that's odd. Okay.
How do I jump down? Why can't I jump down from here? You jump down from here. So if this is another one of those moments where... I'd... Ah. Okay, and then he comes out the top. What are you doing, sir? Are you are you kidding me? Okay. Alright, how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, I'm gonna fake it. Nailed it! Rest. Oh, that was good of me, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah way to just fake that. This is the room with the murals. Oh, crap. Where are you? Sephiroth! Oh, she poopy. That is seizure inducing. So cold. I'm always by your side. Come. What the? Wo oh! Splendid. Treasure house of knowledge. I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> Roth, what the? Why are there so many of you in here? Look well. At what? Oh, pfft, at what? <laughs> at that which adds to the knowledge of. I am becoming one with the planet. Is it getting brighter? Told it totally is. Okay. It's a pyramid. And then they're all walking. And then there's a star with that looks like an egg. It's highly unlikely though. And then oh my gosh, the thing's crashing to the planet and Mother. It's almost time. Soon we will become one. That's creepy, dude. How did you intend to become one with the planet? It's simple. Once the planet is hurt, it gathers spirit energy to heal the injury. The amount of energy gathered depends on the size of the injury. What would happen if there was an injury that threatened the very life of the planet? Think how much energy would be gathered. Did you just stab the temple? <laughs> and at the center of that injury will be me. All that boundless energy will be mine. By merging with all the energy of the planet, I'll become a new life form, a new existence. 
melding with the planet, I will cease to exist as I am now. Only to be reborn as a god, to rule over every soul. An injury powerful enough to destroy the planet? Injure? The planet? Behold that mural. The ultimate destructive magic. Meteor! That'll never happen! Wake up! Where are you, Sephiroth? Wait, Cloud! I... Don't even care, that wasn't the right voice. Is he laughing? <laughs> Cloud! Cloud, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Black Materia. <laughs> Call Meteor. Cloud, get a hold of yourself. Cloud, I'm Cloud. Uh, how should I? I remember. I remember my way. Cloud? Hmm? What's wrong? Something wrong? It's nothing. So don't worry about it. Right. Right, Cloud. It's nothing. Sephiroth got away. Don't worry about it. I understood what he was saying. So this must be Meteor, right? Then we got trouble. Oh, something is going to fall from the sky? It's going to be something big. This must be magic. Just what Sephiroth was saying. The ultimate destructive magic. Meteor. It finds small drifting planets with its... What? <laughs> small drifting planets? Holy poop. That's magic. And then collides with them. This planet might get wiped out entirely. Sephiroth! <laughs> it's not me. What? What, dude? You guys told me! The... Ah! Just said the bo oh gosh! Just said the boss was behind the other door. Behind the twelve o'clock, not six o'clock. Thirty-nine. It's actually not too bad. Probably fine. I guess it depends what this does. Um. I really should have had Eris heal him too, quite frankly. That would have made the most sense. And yeah, that's not what I did. Dice? Sure. Let's roll the dice, shall we? Looks pretty good. Ho! 
What do I have? I have five, a six, and a one? Twelve! I rolled a twelve. <laughs> I get it now. That makes so much sense. Dragon armlet, that sounds sweet. Um. Any sign of Sephiroth? He disappeared. Bahamut. Bahamut. Rider, rider, rider. Um. Start off with this. Because heaven knows. Alright, what do we got? It's five with the normal. What? Defense percentage goes down. But everything else goes up and it provides better magic defense. I think we'll take it. And if that drains half fire cold lightning, it means what I think it means, and that's worth it all on its own. So. So I need another thing so I can give you another. Bahamut! Is Bahamut the red dragon? Can I summon the red dragon? Is that what's gonna happen? Cause that would be sweet. Um. I wanna leave the spot open. It's just a waste. So here, take throw. And then. You have a lot of summons. Yeah, this lowers your max HP by a lot, so we're actually gonna dump that. We're gonna switch it for one that does the same. So, that's that. And... Because I'm concerned. Because heaven knows if I don't heal you, then we're not gonna get a chance to heal up. But if we get a chance to heal up, then it won't matter that I healed you. What is this? There's something written on it. B L A C K M A T E R I A. What does that spell? Black materia. Hey. Black materia. What should we do, Cloud? <gasps> Let's shake it! Wait a minute, I'll ask. I don't understand. What? Really? They said that the temple itself is the black materia. What do they mean? So this whole building is the black materia? This huge temple? This is the black materia? Then no one could take it. Hmm. It's pretty hard. You see, this is a model of the temple. And inside it is a device which gets smaller each time you solve a puzzle. As the model becomes smaller, you become smaller too until it's small enough to fit in the palm of your hand. So if we solve the puzzles, then black material will get smaller and smaller and we can take it out. But I thought we got smaller also. Yes, but there's one thing. You can only answer the puzzles inside the temple. So anyone who solves a puzzle will be crushed by the temple. Aha! You see, ancients didn't want dangerous magic to be taken out of the temple so easily. The ancients were a mean bunch. This way, no one will be able to get it. No. We gotta think of a way to get it out. Because Sephiroth has lots of different flunkies. It's nothing to him to throw their lives away to get the black materia. 
This place isn't safe. So what are we going to do? I heard your situation. Really? You should have, because you're standing right here. Don't forget about me. Oh, you're not alive! You're being- you're a remote-controlled thingamajig! Everything you said makes perfect sense. You can use my stuffed body for the future of the planet. We can't let Sephiroth get his hands on the Black Materia. We can't let the Shinra get theirs on it either. So that means you don't trust me. But Cloud, there's really nothing else you can do. Everyone, please trust me. Ah, uh, No way. You sure are stubborn, Cloud. Please believe me, Cloud. How can I? You sure are stubborn, Cloud. I guess I have to, because you were just going to be stuck in a loop otherwise. I believe him, and I want to let him, because... Quite frankly, if nothing else, he shrinks this down, He's this form is dead, he's going to bring in another form. I'm assuming that would take at least some kind of time. My problem is, I didn't get to go through the 12 o'clock door yet. So that's my only problem. I guess I have to. Alrighty then, leave it all to me. Everyone, hurry up and get outside. Go with you to a safe place. But I'm not... Ready to... No! Okay, shh. Oh, there's enemies in here too, really? See, and this is why I healed everyone. I think somebody's vacuuming upstairs. Oh, there's dragons! Here, I'll just get rid of all of them. Easy enough. God, you're a beast. Turbo Ether. When you just have to be Turbo. Rest up. So if all that was here, then what's at 12 o'clock? Oh! Okay then, well. That's a thing. And it would appear that I have no choice but to go to 12 o'clock. Well then, that does present a little bit of a sticky wicket now, doesn't it? Why I had to say it like that, I don't know. It just seemed appropriate, don't you think? So then, what was the other one that you guys said I didn't go to? I went to seven, I went to eight, I went... I mean, 6 was obviously the last one I went to. But, alright. Well? Huh. That was an experience. Can I just walk off this? Nope. Looks like the hands of time have stopped. So I actually think I'm gonna end it here. Because, hey. That was, that was some intense story stuff that just happened. Thank you guys for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. Whew. That was, that was ridiculous. Next time on Final Fantasy VII Blind. Guess we'll be heading to the 12 o'clock hour. The midnight hour. The dark hour. I want to go with something else and I kind of ran out of it. 
So technically it's a 6 o'clock hour and we're just going up to the 12. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this. And I will see you next time for more Final Fantasy VII Blind. Goodbye, y'all.